Hi, this is Amanda Lester with Virtual Horse Open Worldwide Slide. We're here with our July Youth Spotlight, Mr. Lane Colston. Lane, welcome to Oklahoma. Thank you. You're very welcome. Now, how old are you? I'm 15, or I'm 14, and I will be 15 in October. Awesome. Now, what grade are you going into? I'll be a freshman. Freshman in high school. Fun times. So, how long have you been reigning? I've, I've been, it'll be five years in October. I started in 2013. Awesome. Now, um, how has raining impacted your life? Um, a lot. Raining is just such a fun sport. You meet so many new people and you grow as a person also. Um, you learn how to interact with, like, you learn how to interact with adults and children and everyone else. That's a great answer. So tell us about your trainer or any trainers that you've been with. Well, for, when I first started, I rode with Elijah McQuarrie and he still helps me some. And Nat and I rode with Marco Formentine. He also still helps me some. And now, now my two derby, my derby horses are at the at the McCutcheons, and Tom and Fernando help me. Awesome. So, um, how has your how has your trainer impacted your dream career? What do you want to be when you grow up? Well, most of the people that have helped me. They're most they're positive people. They they always have a good outlook on things and want me to do good. And I don't I don't know what I want to do when I grow up yet. I don't know if I want to go to college or learn how to run my dad's business. But um, I don't want to be a horse trainer. But I still want to ride horses because it's training horses. I like riding, but I wouldn't want to. I don't want to ride all the time. So, what major titles and shows have you won? Um. In 2016 and last year in 2017, I was reserve in the world on two different horses in the 13 and under. And this, and um, this year, I'm fifth in the non-pro. But that that wasn't really a goal. It was just um, it was uh, it just kind of happened. And right and right now, I think I'm in the top 20 non-pros for this year. And so I'd like to stay in the top 20 non-pros. But my goal for um, the rest of this year is to make the Derby Finals. Right here, right now, right? Yes, ma'am. And how many horses do you have in the Derby here? I'm showing three. I'm going to show two on Monday and then one on Tuesday. And um, what horses have you been riding? Um, well, my first horse, my short stirrups horse, he um, he uh, he was an older gilding. I don't remember. I don't remember his name, but. We called him Red Man in the Barn, and then my first competitive youth horse, she, um, her name was Chiquita Conquista, and we called her Minnie, and now she has babies, and so she had her first baby last year, and we're going to breed her again next year, and then now, and then I have my, I had another youth horse that I showed named Ro Rojo, and then now I have my three derby horses, um, and I've, I've shown one of them. But I haven't. This will be the first time I actually show the other two. Awesome. So, do you have any advice for any other young rainers coming up? Yeah. Well, when I when I first started showing it, it took me about a year to really, really be competitive, and I, I would get so frustrated. But I I just kept going. I didn't. I, and then eventually, after a while, I just it, as I kept riding, I progressed. And so I usually ride two or three horses a day in the summer and then one or two during the day during the school year and so I ride pretty much every day and it's helped me a lot even though even though there's not always somewhere that, someone there to help me I I kind of learn I, there's people that, people that help me a lot but I also if the more you ride with yourself I think it I think you learn from yourself also that's a great answer well I, that's all we have for you today so congratulations on being our July youth spotlight all right thank you ma'am Packs are a simple, foolproof way to make sure your horse always gets the supplements he needs. They're packed in convenient, customized, daily doses that make feeding time fast and easy. And because they come in pre-measured doses, are clearly labeled, and sealed for freshness, there's never any doubt that your horse is getting the absolute best. After feeding, empty Smart Packs can be stacked until they're ready to be recycled. Join the thousands of people that love Smart Packs and head on over to SmartPack.com to get your horse started down the healthy path today.